Hello everyone, welcome to Beautiful Me TV. I am your host, Crystal Holmes, and thank you for joining us in on another episode in this season. As you all knew, last uh, month we actually looked into Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Month um, with MS and dealing with Micah's story. But this month, like I said, we're going to be focused on iconic people. And today in the studio, I have a strong, beautiful woman who has gone through so much, so many hardships, and um, through her story, I really wanted to bring her on because I know that it can inspire you as well. And today in the studio, I have with me Miss Margot Southwick. Yes. She is the author of A Lying Wonder, which is the shirt that I have on right now. And she um, wrote an excerpt in this book called Delayed Two but not denied. And so, Margo, I just want to thank you um, again for coming out and being a part of this show and just being able to share your story because not a lot of people can do that. And um, for you to come out and just be open and be encouraging to somebody else, you know, I just strongly want to thank you. And You're welcome. Just how are you doing? I, you know, I'm you, doing good. You doing good? I'm good. You doing yes. good? I'm not uh, at my 100 yet. Mm -hmm but I'm not at 50 anymore. Mm -hmm. So I've made some progress. Awesome, yeah. awesome, that's beautiful. So, you know, kind of going into this story, I, it was, it was, I will say it was difficult for me to read, not in a sense that I couldn't understand or anything, but it was just like, wow, like why? You know, it's, right. it's, it doesn't, it didn't make sense. It's like, how could somebody be that way right. towards someone? You know, you don't think, that especially your husband, um, right. you know, could do something, Absolutely. you know, that could be so harmful and so hurtful to you. And she talks about that in her in her story in this book. Again, delayed to but not denied. I'm going to definitely keep plugging that so you <laughs> all can hear her story, A Lying Wonder. Um, so tell me, was it at any point that, because I know you talked about, like, you all went for spring break out to your um your family in New yes. Orleans, and you all spent the time there. And it was also your birthday weekend. Yes, so it was. So how did, was there ever a point that you were suspicious of anything, of him even implying that you do that? Or was it kind of like, oh, well, you know, that's nice. It was a nice gesture. Well, he suggested that we go to New Orleans for spring break. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was a good idea. I'd get to see my mom and, you know, my children would get to see my family and my mom as well. So there was not a miss, nothing, mm -hmm. no red flags, nothing uh, triggered to make me think that, you know, right. the ordeal would go down the way it did when, um, when I left. And so when we returned home, was when I realized that there was a problem and it still took a while mm -hmm. for it all to unfold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So so when you did get home, because you talked about how it's like you could tell there were lies, that you know it was just one mm -hmm. thing after the other um, when you were trying to find out about your car and, and what happened to it. Mm -hmm. So in that time, was there ever an instance where it was just kind of like, all right, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> that you wanted to kind of do something further because you were in, in and another thing, too, is like you still had a sense of respect. Yes. You had a sense of respect for your husband and his role in y'all's house because he was telling you, you know, oh, it's like it got stolen, you mm -hmm. know, and that was that was the thing. That's what you thought it was. But yes. it turned out with something else. But you never questioned his judgment in that instance until it was like after the second time. Right. And it's like, did he, did, I don't know if he even know that, um, that he got caught in his lie. Well, did y'all have that moment? As the saying goes, mm -hmm. and, and many older people have always uh, referenced that when you tell one lie, you'll have to tell two. Yeah. And a lie is, you can't remember the lie. Mm -hmm. You can always remember the truth. It's easier. Yeah. So when he said that the car had been stolen, you know, I just said, okay. And I think a part of us as women and as wives, we bury our heads in the sand a tad. Mm -hmm. You know, so I didn't want, I didn't want to know right. that there was something deeper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I received a phone call 
Yes. And when the phone call came through, it was the wee hours in the morning, yes. and I, I, I didn't, I couldn't quite pin it down, but I did realize that the man who called me, he sounded like he wanted a reward, like he kept hesitating. Mm -hmm. That's that was my process of it. Right. But really, he had more to tell. Right. So that was like the beginning of the house of cards falling. Right. And you know, it was interesting to me to see that because at first I didn't pinpoint that it was the same person. And I'm like, right. oh, this Mr. Robert character, yeah. you know, he he really, um, turned, it seemed like he was a good man, like, you know, because he didn't have to tell you anything. Right. But it was like, he said, you know, he knew who the person was, right. he knew um, he knew your husband and everything, and it was just like, okay, you know, it's like he had a guilt trip himself, in a sense, at that moment, and had to tell you, so, you know, it's like for him to be even come to that point and sharing that with you, it's like who knows if he hadn't spoke up, you right. know, where and things would have lied. What was so special, <laughs> for lack of a better word, of it all was that, the man was from New Orleans. Mm. He had moved to that area like 50, in the 60s, he told me. Okay. So I felt like it was some divine intervention. You know, although it was an ugly event, he still felt, and he told me that, that he felt obligated to call me. Awesome, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Well, thank you so much for sharing <laughs> that because I really wanted to touch base on that because his character, I was like, he was a vital role in yes, he was. everything that happened. Thank you so much for staying with us. Um, we will be right back. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to talk with Margot again more on her story and just how she was able to overcome this and some advice for you women and un anybody in general um, who may be going through something like this and you can hear directly from her what she has to say. Stay tuned. Connect with fellow millennials, creatives, professionals, and entrepreneurs within the all new millennial community. Join in and get connected with local events, volunteer opportunities, and mentorship programs with the next generation. For more information, visit themillennialcommunity.com and become a member today. Membership includes access to special events, networking events, and civic engagement opportunities. Check out our online calendar for upcoming event opportunities, such as millennial think tanks, community building events, the new Sea Live experience, and much more. Members will also be invited to join an online membership group, have opportunities to pair with local students in the Houston community for mentorship programs. Follow us on all social media platforms and get connected with the millennial community today. Hello again, welcome back to Beautiful Me and thank you for staying with us. Um, as I've told you all before, we are focusing on iconic people and today I have with me author Margot Southwick who is sharing her story of her own marriage and abuse situation. And another thing I wanted to point out was that um, when we talk about domestic violence, it's not always something that is necessarily physical. And one thing that you definitely expressed to me was that it also can be an emotional sense yes. too as well from verbal, and there's verbal abuse. And um, the fact that you are able to speak on that because sometimes we don't even realize it when we're in that situation right. until after the fact. And I definitely want to, again, applaud you for being a Thank voice um, for other women. And we're actually going to be able to have Margo speak and give you all just some insight from her perspective on what you can do if you are going through this situation yourself or even if you know any other women that are as well. Um, Margo, one last thing I want to kind of touch on um, with your story is you did mention like once you found out about this blue woman, the, the yes. character, um, I wanted to know like for your kids, um, how was that? Could they sense that something was wrong or something shifted um, within the home or within you? And oh, yes. Husband? Like how, how was that in, in that sense? Well, my son was young, okay. so 
he would run around, like run around the house. Mm -hmm. Where's mama keys? Where's mommy keys? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you know? it. Yeah. That's so, but my daughter was uh, a teenager in high school, so she knew something was wrong. Like from the beginning, at the gate of it all. She oh, wow. knew, yeah, she wow. said, I wouldn't be surprised if he knows where your car is. You know, this just seems so, because the stories kept changing. Right. He didn't remember the first lie. Yeah, and that was the other thing, that's when you caught him. <laughs> right. It's like, it was one thing after the other. It's like, yes. okay, something's not right, because right. these aren't adding up <laughs> at all. Not at all. But, you know, that, um, I, I did notice that, and I saw the part with your son, and I just thought, I thought it was cute. I know you even humored about it in your book, mm -hmm. in your story. And um, I just really wanted to hear, like, that insight from, like, his person, from your kids. And, like, what advice, I guess, would you give to parents or to a mother, mm -hmm. you know, who has children, whether their age or teenage, like you said, you had a teenager, and then you also had, like, your younger child. You know, right. what would you say to them, you know, in helping their children through this situation? Well, you're going to have to talk it out. You know, you'll have your, your moments where, you know, you're really emotional, you're stressing about it. You'll have to cry it out, shout it out, write it out. But more importantly, pray it out. Yes. Don't forget to pray it out. That's what helped. And... You know, I just let my daughter know, mainly my daughter, because she was old enough to process it right. to some degree and that things will be OK. You know, you'll still we'll get up, we'll continue our routines, mm -hmm. you know, and the good thing, too, was that he worked nights. Okay. So um, him being away from the home at night in the, from evening to night. So it would it was great because when he would get home, they're asleep. Right. So they didn't have to see much interaction between right. the two of us, okay. you know. But always have that one person that you can call mm -hmm. day or night, non-judgmental, right. but just the ear, you know, because that can really make the difference between your survival of life and death, mm. you know, because you can get really low, you know. Some people can get to a really low place where you just feel like, you know what, how did I get here? Right. Why did this happen? Right. So, and that was my next thing was going to ask, like the support system behind mm -hmm. it, because you did mention like that later on you had a talk with your mother and your sister about right. everything, and they opened up mm -hmm. that they kind of had a sense and a feeling that something wasn't right either right. too. So even after this, and once everything was you know in the light, <laughs> as I would say. Mm -hmm. um, how was that? Were you all able to kind of come together at that point? Were they able to kind of help guide you? What was the support? They were. Um, keep in mind, though, they were long distance. My okay. sister was in, in another state and my mom was in New Orleans still at the time. So mom didn't say a whole lot to me, mm -hmm. but she expressed things to my sister. And my sister okay. didn't reveal those things until after my mom had passed away. I was like, wow, why you didn't tell me? Yeah, she didn't tell me. She said, because it wasn't things that could, that would motivate or, you know, it was just what she thought about it. She said, so, so she didn't care to disclose it until, until after, you know, but my mom, he, let me just say this. He wasn't a horrible person, mm -hmm. but he had horrible and reckless behavior. Yeah. So, and, and unfortunately, those things can cost you your life. You will turn the corner, the sun will shine again. You know, he may look like he's winning, the husband, but karma is no respecter of person. You will get through it. Yes, and thank you again. Um, and you all, please stay tuned. We are actually going to come back. And from all of this, as you can tell with our shirts, um, it spawned a t-shirt line that Margot has started. And so when we come right back, um, we'll talk more about that and give you details. So stay tuned. Hello, and thank you for staying with us on Beautiful Me TV. I'm your host, Crystal Holmes. So this is Financial Literacy Month, and I have a special guest. We wanted to take a moment to really acknowledge that I have Danielle Davis here with me. She is um, a financial literacy coach. And so I wanted you to kind of just give our viewers just some insight on some of the initiatives that you all have and what they can do through 
uh, getting like financial help. Absolutely. First, I want to say thank you for having me. Yes. It is an honor and a privilege. I want to say happy Financial Literacy Month to everyone. Uh, we do want you to focus on your financial literacy and your financial situation 365 days of the year. Mm -hmm. um, but we're excited because um, April is the month where we really get to kind of highlight it. Um, and again, my name is Danielle Davis. I am a financial literacy coach. Um, and I'm pretty excited because um, this particular week, which is April 14th through the 22nd, we are focusing on Houston Money Week. Right. Okay. And Houston Money Week is a citywide initiative where we're basically giving business owners, individuals, and families resources to financial education. Mm -hmm. um, we've got workshops, programming, a lot of fun stuff going on throughout the city. Awesome. So now you said this is Money Week. So where are some locations and things that people can go to 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 get more information? Absolutely. Well, first, I want to draw your attention to our website because there mm -hmm. is a calendar of events there. So you would go to www.houstonmoneyweek.org and you can just click on any day this week and you will find out that something's going on. But in particular, one event that I'm focusing on is called our Houston Money Strong event. And you can actually um, check us out this April 21st mm -hmm. from 10 to 2. We'll be at the Leonel um, Castillo Co Community Center um, at 2101. One South, okay? okay, South Street. The next event that I'm going to be at is going to be on April 21st at the Leonel um, Castillo Community Center. So we want people to come check us yeah. out from 10 to 2. It's going to be fun. Um, you can actually take a picture um, with one of our art car um, uh, from oh, the nice. art car parade. Yes, that was so one of our happened. art cars. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we're we're in partnership with them. You can come take pictures with a few of our Benjamin Franklin uh, characters that are going to be there. <laughs> We've got food, fun, and financial literacy for, for people from all walks of life. So come check us out. Awesome. We will do that. And you guys, we will be right back because Danielle is going to be sharing with us some more things on some initiatives and things that are happening during Money Week. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Beautiful Me TV. I am your host, Crystal Holmes. Again, and thank you for staying with us on this segment where we are featuring iconic people. And I have again with me Margot Southwick, who is the author of Delay But Not Denied 2, the excerpt in this book called A Lying Wonder. And as you all see, we do have our shirts on today. This is one of her official shirts for her brand and what she's doing, um, Margot. So let's go ahead, let's talk about these shirts and the inspiration behind them. Like what was you know the motivation that spurred uh, this to come from you? The motivation was our youth. Okay. Um, I've had a chance to work with the youth and see a lot of the ills and what they don't get as far as uh, exposure in the school systems. And school systems do a good job, but there's also another piece that our children miss, you know, and the way that I thought I could be of help and assist and collaborate with other people is if I made shirts and sold shirts that would generate resources and um, monies to allow them to participate in programs like learning how to code or uh, taking them out for dinner, you know, exposing them to the difference between a salad fork and a dinner fork. Mm -hmm. You know, just things that would, would enhance their lives and build them. Right, right. Especially with our, because they, like they always say, it's like they are the future. They are. Our children are yes, the future. They are. And we need to do everything that we can to help and support them in any way. And these are amazing. Like I said, it's like she's done this shirt also, which is her official brand. And then, of course, we have the inspiration. We have the Jesus with the Superman S because he's always in the midst Super. of everything and all that we do. And then she also has a few others. I want you to go ahead and, and show that one too as well. This is a uh, breast cancer awareness um, tea. And I was just playing around with some designs and I, I really like this one because mm -hmm. it's, it's Believe. Y'all can see yeah. that. We're going to hold this up. It's got yeah. the butterfly in the middle with the actual like breast cancer symbols. And it. pink and green are just awesome yes, colors. They are. <laughs> they are very much so. Yeah. I love pink and green. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, those of you who like bedazzle, 
and I'm a fan, my sister, my family. Yeah. Um, any type of sporting occasion, everybody has to have matching shirts. So if you are in need of anything in that area, or even if it's just for casual wear or just for an event or anything specific, if you're celebrating something, and you, like you said, it's for any occasion, she'll be able to cater it to you in whatever way and whatever area that you need. And let's go ahead and Well, this is one that I really like. Mm -hmm. People should be linked and not ranked. Mm -hmm. So instead of placing our people, just all of us, mm -hmm. you know, in categories, we can rank, you know, we can link them to resources and, mm -hmm. and help in that way. So. Mm -hmm. nice. And then the last one. Uh, this was one that I did, Amazing Grace because grace is amazing mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. you can go i really like how you took the words and you actually inter like mixed them together and like a puzzle them. yeah yeah like a like a puzzle and it's also like in a cross too yes in this fit. so you got the whole symbolism there um for christ and, and that's what i get yes. from it when i when i'm looking at it okay, okay. but these are these are really thank really you nice. And again, tell us how can people get in contact with you about these shirts and just to get more information on, you know, where where they can, you know, get with you to get all of that. Trendity.net is the website for the teas. Um, there's also a Trendity page. Uh, Trendity, uh, it's on Facebook. Uh, there's also the Margot Southwick page. And I do have my phone number on the uh, the site, so okay. um, feel free contact me. I'm available day or night. I'll if I don't answer, I will make sure that I get back to you within 24 hours. Yes, and she is great with communication. But you all go ahead and stay tuned with us. We will be right back. We have one more break. Um, we just want to get, I have a little something for Margot, um, and I just want you all to stay tuned with us, and we'll be right back. Welcome back and thank you for staying tuned with us. Again, like we said, we are talking on Financial Literacy Month for this month of April. And I have still with me Danielle Davis and she is going to be telling us some more information and details on the initiatives and locations, free workshops, you guys, where you can get details on how you can be financially savvy. So Danielle, tell us what is the next initiative that you all have going on during Money Week? Absolutely. Um, so again, I am a financial literacy coach mm -hmm. um, and I'm here on behalf of the National Financial Literacy Campaign. And that campaign is all about educating a million Americans between now and 2020. Um, we want to educate Americans and really teach them about how money works. Um, in this country, what we found is that a lot of people know how to earn money mm -hmm. and they definitely know how to spend it. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> but if you really want to get ahead in life, yes. you need to know how to save your money, how to grow it, and protect it. And that's really what this initiative is about, really teaching people how money works. Mm -hmm. um, and w what we like to do is offer free resources in the community. We want to bring people out. We want families, individuals, youth, and business owners to come out. Um, so every Tuesday at 7 p.m. and every Saturday at 10 a.m., we do offer free financial workshops. Mm -hmm. And some of those workshops include um, how to increase your cash flow, how to manage debt, how to build a strong financial foundation, as well as building wealth, asset accumulation, and retirement planning. Um, and our location is 2500 East TC Jester, um, Suite 345, Houston, Texas, 77008. Okay, thank you so much again for sharing that. Now, there are some statistics that we were kind of discussing. Absolutely. Um, please share some of those things okay. so our viewers can be aware Absolutely. of what is going on out here. And I'm coming straight from my financial Bible, mm -hmm. which is called Saving Your Future. And that's actually what we're doing to, um, from day to day is helping people save their future. Just a couple of statistics. 33% or more than 77 million Americans don't pay their bills on time. 39% carry credit card debt from month to month. And only 59% of 59% of adults say they have savings. Um, and worse than that, um, a lot of people now think it's acceptable to default on their mortgage if they can't afford to pay it. 
Oh wow! Yeah. One one thing that told, that stood out to me was the saving part. You said fifty nine percent don't even have savings. Don't even have savings at all. Right. And and you know, and it's like I can't even say. I, I mean, I have savings, but it's like I know it can be hard. Yeah. To, to keep up with it and be consistent with it. But um, thank you so much, Danielle, for sharing this information. Before we go, please share with our audience where they can find you and just any contact information and getting more. Absolutely. Um, so you can follow me on Instagram at Danny Cole one. That's D A N I C H O L E, the number one. Um, as well as you can feel free to give me a call 713-305-7248. In addition to the workshops, I do offer free one on one consultations. Mm -hmm. If you're serious inquiries only, if mm -hmm. you're serious about looking at your financial situation and creating a roadmap to get um, to where you really want to be financially, I'm your girl. Thank you so much again, and you all stay tuned. Hello, and welcome back to Beautiful Me TV, and thank you for staying tuned with us. Um, I am your host, Crystal Holmes. Again, I'm here with the lovely, strong woman, Margot Southwick, and she is the author of the excerpt, The Lying Wonder, that is in this book, Delayed But Not Denied Too. So like I said, we do have something that we want to do for our audience and those of you who are tuning in we have a giveaway that we will be doing. Margot has agreed to kindly um, give off. We're doing two raffle shirts. So if you are able to respond and contact me at info at beautifulmetv.com, we are going to be doing a drawing giveaway. All you have to do is send me an email so I know that you got the information from this episode. We will be doing a giveaway for this one shirt. It's the football mom. So those of you moms out there who need a shirt, you want to support your child for the season coming up because I believe we're out of football season right now. Right. But you can get your shirt in advance. Um, it's a bedazzle, and you can get that in whatever size you need. Again, like I said, we will get in contact with Margo, and we'll make that happen for you. And then we also are going to do the Believe shirt. This is for the breast cancer awareness, and that's actually coming up in October. So this would be something if you want to wear for support or just an awareness in general for the uh, breast cancer awareness month coming up in October at the end of this year. But even still, if you just want to have it um, for your own personal use and just to have to represent, because we can do it any day, yes. every day. Yes. Um, it's a cause that's always ongoing. So these are the two shirts. Again, send me an email so you can let me know which shirt you are interested in, and we will be conducting the raffle, and I will have more details and updates for you at a later time. So thank you You're again welcome. for allowing us to do that and, uh, and sharing your shirts with us. And yeah. also, just one more time, tell our audience <clears throat> how they can reach you um, and get more information about Trinity. Okay. You can reach me, uh, contact me through uh, Facebook, Trinity's. Or the what the uh, email is trendities at gmail dot com or margot southwick at gmail dot com, but I am on social media, still working on uh, upgrading the Instagram page. But feel free, contact me. I look forward to hearing from you, and thank you. Awesome, and thank you as well. <laughs> and You're I'm welcome. Very sure, like I said, uh, you know, your story is inspiring, and I thank you for sharing that and not allowing it to hinder you yes. like you are taking this and you are moving forward and your story is going to give light to somebody else to know that they can move forward as well so yes. thank you again you're welcome for being a part of beautiful me thank you <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> and right now we are going to close out but before we do i do want to let you know that you can always view the previous seasons for the show on beautifulmetv.com. Be sure to follow me as well at beautifulmetv. That's on Instagram and Facebook. If you ever need to reach out and want to be a guest or a part of the show as well, you can contact me at info at beautifulmetv.com. This is A Beautiful Me, and we are, again, showcasing iconic people in this season. Stay tuned for next month's update.